Hey everybody, this is Sherry with CPR, Craft, Pray, Repeat, and I'm here today with a Cottage Cuts die called Bear in Pot, and you can see there that I assembled part of the bear before I, you know, move on. That was a mistake. What I... I was trying to do assembly assembly line style because I was making a bunch because they're going to the fire department um, this this week as I wanted to wait till after Thanksgiving just to give them a little Christmas thing thanking them for what they do and um, so when I had done my sample I put together the, the the front and then layered the back on well that's how I should have done it for all of it and what I do is I took a tea bag that I got from Mama's Treasures on Zibit and I will link all of the products I talk about here and I use an ATG gun but I found that score tape works better it seems to stick better and I cut my strips in a one by three inch piece and I just wrap it around the chocolates that's super easy and then once I get them decorated and what I'm trying to do is each set that goes in the tea bag I want them to match is my thinking so I can't promise that's a good thinking but that's my thinking and so I'm just going to ahead and put them inside my tea bags and I'm going to move on to the next part where I start to assemble the little bear for the tag what I should have done, and it's not what I did, but what I should have done was put the first one together and put the, the ATG tape on the back, just like I'm doing here, and laid my string through. Now, instead of already having put together, you know, I could do the bear's face and his little muzzle and nose, but I should not have done the white part yet because I wanted it to line up and it's not perfect it's it's not meant to be opposite but it comes out really really close and you're not going to notice unless you're really really looking for it and if you're really really looking for it you can't have one of my chocolates then <laughs> so there that's how we're going to work that one and but so I mean if you're doing a bunch there are parts that you can assemble ahead of time like the little bear's face and his muzzle and his nose but you definitely want to put the white of the hat on at the same time and also you cut everything in duplicate except or you know in sets of two the front and the back except for his hat his hat we just use one piece it's the same on the front and it's the same on the back so if your cutting plates are really icky and you know marring up the back of your paper you might want to try you know laying a piece of cardstock underneath of your um, between your mat and your paper and here again I'm just putting the little feet on and they don't match up perfect but it's really close and I love that I was able to make it double-sided and I just thought that really made it special and I like it even without the paws if you don't want to add the paws you wouldn't have to because I think it was still adorable and I'm just going to show you one more time how I do it and then it's super easy and I expect to see you guys making some and tagging me so that I can see them I think they're so cute and at the end you'll see where I bought a tea pitcher and I filled it with these candies and the little bear heads are hanging out like a tea tag would if you were making you know sun tea or something like that and uh, so it's there's just so many things you can do and this would make a really cute you know co-workers gift or you know for the if you've got a you know a special secretary at the school that's always helpful to you or something like that this would be a sweet thing to give to them and so here I'm just lining them up now 
you could cut out two of the balls on the hat and but because I was doing so many I opted to just do the one but you could do two of those if you want to and but like I said I was doing like 25 of them so I was getting a little bit quicker and quicker and quicker and cutting out a few there toward the end but that's it guys and they're so cute and I hope that you do give it a try and if you do please tag me in it I would love to see it I love any cottage cuts dies so if you do any projects with cottage cuts dies let me know I want to see them all right guys that's it thanks for visiting me today remember to practice your CPR craft pray repeat bye <laughs>